<laughs> Hi, my name is Chiara and welcome to my very first Let's Play and we're going to play Chicken Police Painted Red because I mean the title says it all, I guess. And um, it says a wild tale of love, death, chickens and redemption. And if that's not what we all wanted all along, I don't know. Let's go. I uh, haven't seen any trailers. I just like the... Oh, shit. We are weird. Okay. I really like the style. I ran out to get a pack of cigarettes, but I left my wallet at home. Yeah, that's me. Same. I'm getting old. <laughs> Same. <laughs> my name is Sonny. Sonny Featherland. An investigator for 20 years, and once the star of the predatory division of the Clawville Police Department, one half of the legendary Chicken Police. But buying a pack of smokes is more than I can handle right now. Maybe I should just lay low. Yeah, I'll do that. The most colorful place in the wilderness. For all the gods, what bullshit. The last clucking color left this city years ago. And slowly I'll turn gray too. Oh, maybe there will be color if we get along the game. That would be really cool. I mean, it, it says painted Still, red. So. What do I expect? We're living in a vast experiment and don't even notice that everything got clucked up a long time ago. We believe in this wonderland of peaceful coexistence. Wolves and sheep, chickens and hounds. Yeah, sure, why not? It's just ridiculous. The dog eats the chicken. It's in our nature. I'm not propping up the illusion anymore. 121 days, and it's over. Retire. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I hope very much will go wrong. <laughs> Clover City. Okay. So. Ah, crap. My office lock is a piece of shit if a dame can pick it. <laughs> she stood in the darkness, the light painted stripes on her body. It whispered secret little things that were never there in the first place. But she was no zebra. Reality was just a light switch away. Elizabeth or Charlotte? I was sure she'd have a sophisticated sounding name. She had a bygone look in her eyes. Older than this ancient building. And perhaps the whole city itself. Or maybe I'm just drunk. But she was the first womanly thing in my place for a long time, so I had to give her a chance. Okay, so we're in, like, grumpy chicken. <laughs> and, to be honest, that's a bit sexist. Uh, women can also pick locks, so... Um, yeah, so it looks like we have a client, sort of, and... Let's look what she says. Oh, okay. You can look around. Books I'm never gonna read. Maybe nobody ever has. I like to like check everything before I, don't even I know what continue these papers the story. Are. That's I need a secretary. Yeah. I mean if you retire in like a few months. I promise I'm, myself it's probably I'd not write the time to get a secretary. <laughs> promise to write a novel one day. That's cute. I wanted to travel the world when I was a kid. But I think I'm gonna end up dead in here, whether I like it or not. Oh. <laughs> uh, light switch pictures. Oh. The wild, wild gentleman. gentleman. Those guys rebuilt the city after the great fire of 867. My heroes when I was a little chick. That's cute. <laughs> I'm starting to think they should have left Clawville as it was, burned to the ground. Well, not so much love for Clawville here. We used to be star cops a few years ago. Tabloid press, 
radio interviews, and even a book series. I don't miss those days. Of course, Marty, my old partner, would disagree. He just loved the spotlight. So we have an old partner, Marty, and we this don't is, know what's uh, going This is on one of him. the most beautiful memories from my old life. Before Molly left oh, me no. and took our daughter. So we divorced, had the daughter. The good things in life don't last long. The best ones always leave first. I saw that in the window okay. of a shoe store. I never understood it. Or what it had to do with shoes. <laughs> well, <laughs> M.B. Davis, the eternal king of jazz. The photo is from the days of jazz prohibition. I only heard the old man live one time, but I'll never forget that night. And not only because I woke up at the harbor without my gun, my badge, and my pants. Okay. So, we are a bit nostalgic here. Phone, pick up. Oh, can I? Oh, oh yeah, maybe we can get like telephone numbers. Ah, okay, I have to click. Ah, let's leave it here. Oh. And from Behind door? that door lies the kingdom of dirty clothes, cigarette butts, and empty bottles. Oh boy. City. I don't see colors anymore. Only emptiness. Everything faded. Oh, I'm I'm wondering if we drink. are the only one who see like black and white or so question speak look ask question. Mm. Oh, I think they are grayed out so look Who is first. this dame anyway? Dame. And what the cluck is she doing what in my cluck? apartment on New Year's Eve? So it's New Year's Eve. Okay. Okay. So just Let to me speak introduce myself. My name is Deborah, Miss Deborah Ibanez. Okay. The clip You're okay. mistaken, ma'am. Mm -hmm. She just introduced herself. How can she be mistaken? Oh, really? Please enlighten me, Mr. Featherman. I'm not a private eye. I'd recommend Philip... Uh, I mean, Mr. Philmar Lowe instead of me. He's a nice guy. Mm -hmm. Believe me, Mr. Featherland, it's not an accident I came to you. Look, miss, I work for the police and I'm currently on leave. I couldn't accept private commissions even if I wanted to. Not even from a classy dame like you. Am I that easy to read? That's my job. But tell me, since you've invited yourself in, would you like a drink? I don't, I don't usually drink. Well, I've got to have one. And it'd be rude of me to drink alone. Don't so pressure her. Maybe some sherry? If you insist. But bourbon, please. Ah, thank the wild ones. That's all I have. What a coincidence. Okay, yeah. So come on. Spill it from Why the beginning. Why did he speak of sherry if he doesn't have any? <laughs> what? I mean, okay, okay. Oh, another cutscene. That was a short cutscene. Okay. Do we have like Ooh, a notebook? Okay. Uh, so, detective's best friend. He gather vital information about the case, the suspects or victims, and the locations to look with it. How does it work? Click on the, uh, click on any text or picture in your notebook to read the translated version in your language. We are playing in English, so it's Impala. Special feature, pretty and fragile. Nothing too special. Oh, that's mean. Insurance errands for employer. Sophisticated lady, but I don't think she's from a particular wealthy or influential family. Okay, places. Tell Atlas. This used to be a nice place. Now we're comp uh, competing who gets swallowed by DK first. Okay. The hotel's winning. Uh, winning, but honestly, I'm not that far behind. Uh, okay, I get it. The Codex. The Chicken Police is a famous detective duo. Santino, Sonny Featherland, and Marty McChicken. <laughs> it looks, it, it sounds like, like the, the McChicken from McDonald's. 
Not to make chicken get framed through case the press caught the blood in New Year's Eve. Okay, we have New Year's Eve today, so maybe that's a coincidence. They flew high for almost 10 years when a fateful brawl put an end to their legend. Okay. Uh, there's a series of novels about uh, them by Meredith H. Marvel. They had published 10 books over the course of 7 years before the series faded out of public interest. As did the Chicken Police itself. Yeah, okay. I mean, 10 years or what? Yeah, that's... That's a pretty long streak. Like, Global's been, in, uh, been an independent city-state for more than 900 years. During the city's foundation, four nations had joined forces represented by the four animal figures uh -huh, in the four hands of the, of the crest in, of Global. In reality, the tribal alliance of the reptiles and the great insects, insect clans had also played an essential part in the city's founding, but they never got to be represented on the crest. Hmm. This gave birth to a political and cultural antagonism between the species. Yeah, I mean, that, that's obvious that there are like alliances and antagonisms, as they call it here. Clover pre preserved its political autonomy and the dream that it's the only state in the wilderness where predator and prey of any race can live in peace. It reminds me of the, the film Zootopia. <laughs> Don't know. Much darker though. Hence the name The City of a Thousand Colors. Well, <laughs> the irony. Three gods, uh, three gods are reserved in most places across the wilderness. The wild ones. Ah, it's like the, the gods. The, the wild ones are the gods, okay. They're the great wild ones who make up the holy trinity of creation, destruction and silence. Hariti is the goddess of creation. Ptapti is the lord of destruction and Kvatiti is the genderless ghost of silence and nothingness. Same. <laughs> Keeping the balance between creation and destruction in their never ending conflict. Okay, that's a bit of like world building here. Statistics. Okay. Nice. So, do we have to like speak to her again? That's better. Yeah, okay. Now, if I understand correctly, your mistress is receiving threats. What kind of threats exactly? It's a very strange matter. First, there were letters. Mm -hmm. Then it came printed on a wine bottle's label, sent as a gift. Okay, great. Then carved into a brick, thrown through the window. And finally, they painted it on the wall of the house in giant red letters. I think it's time to dig a little deeper. No clue. If you don't mind, I'd like to ask you some routine questions. Please. That's why I'm here. Okay, so I think... Oh. New functioning question. The victim, a lady, is the target of some strange threats. All of them are written. Well, yeah, no telephone calls. That's that's a hint. Ah, yeah. So, subject John Doe. <laughs> yeah. Focus on what you know about the suspect. Is he or she suspicious? Concentrate on that. Okay. Detective media. Focus, this fella is rather suspicious. I need to concentrate on that. Focus, suspicion. Suspicious, sorry. Okay, so... Ah, okay. <laughs> He's suspicious. I am suspicious. Why are you suspicious? That's the best interrogation method ever. But I, I get the gather impressions from the suspect. Every impression adds a new question line. Okay. Yeah, Detective Mita is your best friend. It shows how well the questioning is going. Keep it on the positive side, okay? Well, I try. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so... I must be cautious and smart. This dame seems shy, which I can use mm. to my advantage. But I must be careful about what I say to her, or I can scare her off. Let's start gently, and when the time mm. comes, we can go in hard. Mm, okay. Who exactly are you, ma'am? Must be cautious and smart. This dame seems shy. Okay, that's why. What he. Who exactly are you, ma'am? Um, I'm not somebody important, Mr. Featherland. Could be distraction. You're important so. enough to deal with such a delicate matter. 
right? Yeah. I carry out the wishes of my employer, nothing more. This means simple paperwork, most of the time. And the other time? You've been thrown into hmm. deep water, sweetheart. Tell me, can you even swim? Believe me, this is just as unpleasant for me as it is for you, if not even more. Okay. Okay, which part of the city do you live in? Calvara Hills? Flowerville, maybe? You're not very confident, I assure you, right? Hmm, this is a bit more, like, empathetic. And this is like more factual. Mm. I, I think this is too like personal. Tell me which part of the city Go do you live this. in? Calavera Hill. Calavera. Flowerville, Calvera. maybe. Look, I I don't okay, want to sorry. answer that. I'm here on behalf of my that employer was bad. and not <laughs> on personal business. Fair point, Deborah. Let's try a different approach. First decision, and I already fucked it up. No, it's past ten. Okay, stop playing the fight. No, why did you have to visit me on this particular? Yeah. Why did you have to visit me this particular evening? I have my but. reasons. I oh. may look like a silly little fawn, and maybe I am, but I still have common sense. That's not quite an answer, so. I don't doubt <laughs> that for a second, Miss Ivanez. This day is essential to my mistress, and she thought it's also important to you. I think we should ask about the mistress. A message in itself, for sure. But to be honest, even you are. You know what? I'll just take that as a compliment, even if it wasn't meant as such. You're born and raised in Clover. Do you even know what you want? <laughs> Why did you come to visit me? Why not your employer? So, yeah, I think that's good. The others are like not leading to an answer, really. Like, why did you come to visit me? Yeah. Why not your employer herself? My employer is Miss Natasha mm. Katsenko. Katsenko. She hasn't been leaving her home she's lately, a only if she really has to. How so? Yep. Miss Natasha is afraid. She's mm. scared because of those unwanted messages. And everyone knows who she is. So she's like so prominent. So she's and... that kind of woman. I don't know what you mean. Of course you do, Deborah. Thank you, by the way. We're finally getting somewhere. We avoided Looks the like point long enough. Deborah's hiding something, no question. Let's focus on that. Okay, what exactly did you expect by coming here to meet me? I'm sure. It's not intentional, but are you toying with me? How did you get this address? What do you want from me? Um, I think this is like this and that is more or less the same question. But this is more subtle. This is like direct confrontation. And this is accusing her of playing with me. And I don't know if this is important or not. So let's What exactly this. did you expect by coming here to meet me? I expected your help. Just like my mistress said. Yeah, but what kind oh, of help, lady? Nice. But have you seen this neighborhood? Have you seen this wreck called a hotel? Who were you hoping to find in a place like this? I mean, she knows me, so she expected to find me. <laughs> Someone reliable. Well, I am reliable. And discreet. That's right. And thorough. No question about that. And has a heart of gold. Okay, let's stop it right there. Yeah, I thought so. Do you think you're cut out for this kind of work? This is too risky for me. I can take the case. No. <laughs> let's pretend you never found me, okay? And so I am some sort of jam. Hmm. I think we avoided the point long enough to avoid signing something here. This is like denying the case thing. Uh, uh, her help, our help for her. Yeah, let's are go with that. Some sort of jam. Nothing of the sort. Hmm. There are simply things better left unsaid. Yeah. Then you're wasting my time. So, I really don't know what the problem here is. I trust your instincts. You man. Yeah, and I have no other choice, right? To be honest, no, Mr. Sutherland, not really. Because you 
want us to come with her? I think this whole thing is a little suspicious. Actually, I felt truly close. I felt truly vulnerable. Uh, it's not about her, so. Don't you think this whole thing is a little suspicious? Look, Santino. I'm oh, no, we're Santino. Mm -hmm. I have no not doubt Mr. about Pedal that anymore. anymore. You're just the type, sweetheart. No offense. I'll take that as a compliment. You take Already everything as a compliment. I'll act like I haven't heard it. You see, we're starting to understand each other. Mm. If you won't come clean, what's the point of all this? Tell me, Deborah, why should I believe you at all? Mm. I don't know if we're at the point where you can, like, accuse her or, like, get the hard questions. Uh, if you won't come clean, what's the point of all this? Yeah. If you won't come Let's clean, what's the point of all this? But, Mr. Featherland. I'm sorry, sweetheart, oh, but no. I'm way too old for this up. game. Please, just think again. For me and my mistress's yeah, sake. Like, tell me what the problem is. Okay. Oh. That was. No. Tell me, Deborah. Why should I believe you at all? Because my mistress trusts you. Should that be enough? If you really like what she thinks you are, then yes. Damn. Damn. What can I what say to that? Is, Look, please. I didn't mean to back you up against the wall. You have a way with words, sweetheart. Did you ever want to be a cop? No, not for the world. Not everyone wants to be a cop. Like. <laughs> huh. Smart answer. Be honest and tell okay. me what you're so afraid of. You know, Mr. Featherland. Now we're Mr. Featherland again. Partner is Hobart Wessler. Hobart Wessler. Or as most people know him. He's a weasel. Ibn Wessler, the kingpin. Exactly. Huh. The feathery gods help me. <laughs> so you get it now. The secrecy. So there's some shady business, mildly, I guess. I think I understand it all. Wessler. This little piece of the puzzle changes everything. Okay. Well, that's enough. Final thoughts. That's how you do your partner. <laughs> Not quite like old times, but you've still got it. Yeah, we oh, we have to like get used to that again. The old rooster still remembers some tricks, huh? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Significant other. Oh, okay, it's not like partners, but partners. The famous gangster Eben Wessler. You try? No, 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 no. So let's check this out here. Um, the mysterious messenger, Miss Deborah Ibanez, employer is certain with Miss Natasha Katsenko. The employer. Okay, that's what we found out. People. Okay. She's afraid and she's secretive. Uh, she's just secretive and an outstanding actress. In any case, not anything she told me is true. I'm pretty sure about that. Her employer currently bolsters the rank of Ibn Wessler, to put it mildly. This explains the cloud of fear surrounding this place. So, Ibn Wessler is like sort of a shady, shady guy. She has remarkably green eyes and she's definitely in trouble. So am I. She's the employer of Miss Deborah Ibanez. Allegedly, she's receiving serious threats. Currently the girlfriend of the notorious gangster, <laughs> Ibn Wessler. This explains a lot of things. Maybe the excessive secrecy. Okay. Ah, okay, here it is. <laughs> Ratchet. Good looking, charismatic and a clucking gangster. I like this like clucking thing. Uh, one of the most well known gangsters in Quavo, real estate mogul, bank director, museum owner, distiller, smuggler and inform information broker. Well, that's a lot of jobs you have there, good man. And that's only the <laughs> half of what we have heard about him. Okay. He has his dirty little paws everywhere in the city's underworld. Okay. So let's Why don't speak you take to her it again. to the police? Just go there and file a report. Yeah. Photos, flashing lights, fingerprints, you know the drill. The evidence is very clear. 
Even a moderately talented detective could easily wrap this case up. Or just try the phone. Triple five, that triple is one. Some shady business Please. going on. You can go Take to a look the at this. Okay, so well, what you got okay. there? Let's see. New item. Why don't they like implement it in the in the story? Like in the dialogue. We will store the essential items throughout the case. Okay. Can I look? I know Molly very well. Ah, Natasha. Good enough is when deciding whether or not to accept my assignment. Miss Ibanez is a trusted friend. Treats her as gentleman. And yeah, so Caesar Club. Most colorful club of the most colorful city. Well, what a shame we can't see colors. Uh, my city is on fire. Brand new hit from the Queen of the Night. Okay, that's an that's an address. Okay, I can know take a closer Molly. look. Okay. I felt like I'd been hit on the back of my head with a blackjack. Reality tilted. Molly. Good Molly? gods. What was her name doing there? Oh, Molly's I laughed at the opposite wall divorced with the well-worn picture frames. Like an eternally dark hole in the wall. A missing piece. She was wearing a light silk dress and singing a lullaby. The waves caressing her beautiful long legs. Why Molly? Why now? Mm -hmm. Mr. Featherland? Yes. Santino, are you alright? What the hell is this supposed to mean? I don't know anything, Mr. Santino. Mm. My mistress told me to give this to you. So she said you'd understand. Kind of personal matter don't to us you? now? Oh, of course I understand, Miss Ibanez. I get it very well. But this case is becoming more and more confusing. It's starting to look like blackmail. Blackmail? Mm. Don't play innocent with me. But... All right. When can I visit? Visit? Me? Not you. <laughs> Miss Kets... Oh, yes. You can find her at the Czar Club. Oh, I pronounced like C Czar. Because of the C, but Czar is Didn't fine. Didn't you tell me she's not Caesar a would social be cooler, kind? That she's especially unsociable? Or does she only like loud and crowded she's clubs? She's very unsocial, but you can find her in the club. No, she's really not like that. But she owns the place. Yeah, okay. Judging by the flyer, it must be a very busy club. Especially on New Year's Eve, right? Yeah. I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding Miss Katsenko. But there's one small problem. How do we get in there? Let me guess. Mr. Wessler better not know about my visit. Exactly. How did you know? Oh, we're up to all a cop. <laughs> 20 years experience, ma'am. Oh, and please, call me Sonny. It was a pleasure Sunny. to meet you, Mr. I, I mean, Sonny. Sonny. Huh? I'll talk about the rest with Ms. Katsenko in person. Okay. A good friend of mine would be happy to take you home if you'd like. I'd appreciate that, Sonny. This is like our driver. Okay. <sighs> Clue. Natasha must know know my wife Molly from somewhere. Or perhaps she has very good inform informants. Must find out what the connection is. Okay. Natasha at the Sar Club. Okay. Um it's Zar Club. It's oh look. Louis C. Hayworth. Rabbit. An old friend of mine, he is stuttering heavily when he talks. Oh, Louis is the owner of the once repu reputable Atlas Hotel and a good friend, Go good old friend of mine. At the moment, he's my landlord, and it's the only—it's uh, the o it's only the two of us living in this unbelievably enormous hotel. He's crazy about detective stories, and he gladly helps me whenever I ask him. Oh. Ah, okay. So we have like numbers. We can call him. I think we have to call him now to get the lady home. Uh, one of the most famous nightclubs in the city. 
one of the juiciest booties and hardest fists frequently in the place. Okay, and it's famous for not serving cops <laughs> except if they're knee deep in the dirt. Well, that's like not a place for us to be, but I think. Do we have like objectives? Thank Just you again, Mr. Don't mention it, Deborah. I had no other plans for today except drink. Tell me, do you but have tell life? me, do you have a light? I'm sorry, I, I don't smoke. Thought so. Okay, so. Oh. Oh, okay. Let's try to not my use this, this as badge. much. So let's the wallet buy, is like, real. Things the badge on our own. Chief Blood Boil took mine. <laughs> so I got this one out of a pack of cornflakes. Just in case. She doesn't seem so dangerous that I need to grab my gun. Yeah, one say like. No. My last <laughs> cigarette. <laughs> You're lucky I don't have a light, pal. Okay. Every whiskey has the same color nowadays, at least in this price range. <laughs> it's like we can afford so much stuff here. Okay, so do we have to call our friend? People who is five 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 nine three two three two nine F F two. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay. Five 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 nine three two. Five 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 nine three two. Hey, Lewis. Am I bothering you? <laughs> of course not, Freddy. Don't drink. Watch out. He sounds cute. Could you come over? I've got a favor to ask if you're not busy. For you, anything. Just a minute. Cute. Lewis oh. arrived a few minutes later. He's there. He lived in the rooms above, so it wasn't difficult getting here. Not Did to mention that the same he's hotel? a rat. It was a quick hop. The Atlas Hotel I love all was his inheritance. Animal puns. It was once a well-renowned place, but not anymore. The last economic crisis ruined it. And now, besides me, he was the only resident of this enormous place. Okay, so hello Lewis. Look. The good old rabbit. I good can old always rabbit. count on him, even mm. on New Year's Eve. Oh, maybe he's lonely. Thanks for being so quick, Lewis. Can you drive Miss Ibanez home? I have some things to take care of. Of oh, course, Sonny. Oh. Do you know anything for you? It's like a little oh, fanboy of us. So That's cute. Sonny. <laughs> I appreciate it. Don't mention it. Good. So long, oh. Deborah. Sorry, Deborah. <laughs> Didn't mean Before to cut you off. I visit the club, I have to take a detour. I've got a mm. feeling that this case isn't going to be a one-man job. Um, and there's only one bird in this city I can trust. Marty. My ex-partner, Marty. He's gonna be at the station. I can only hope he'll be willing to talk to me. Okay. Let's go and find Marty. Main scenes. Main scene, move the story forward. These scenes are to determine which locations open up for, or close down. Okay, so we can visit like every place all the time. You need to complete all of these if you want to beat the game. Limited scenes. Limited scenes are open for a specific duration, which is determined by the main story progression. If you are com a completionist, which we are, uh, be sure to visit all of them before you move to the next main scene. Closed scenes. Closed scenes cannot be reached for the time being. This state will often change throughout the story progression, and you can be temporary uh, can and can be temporary or permanent. Pro tip: pick the next main scene if you are absolutely sure you don't want to visit any of the available limited scenes anymore. You may not be able to visit them later. Okay. Just, let's just take a look. Where are... There was one! Okay, it's gone now. So... Molly. I knew Molly really My ex -wife. Yeah, but... It's what? like... I don't know. Maybe it's a trick to get us there. Okay. Let's go to the Global PD. I think... Actually, we will go to Global PD in the next episode because, yeah, 
this was a lot of world building and like getting getting there and um, I'm very excited because I love like those like find clothes talk to people I I think it's a good thing that we can like redo the investigations and interrogations with the people animal human nice animals <laughs> and yeah I think this is going really good so far and I'm very excited to meet our old partner Martin in the next episode so I hope you enjoyed and be with me in the next episode bye <laughs>